Hello everyone. In our earlier classes, we had learned about different plane figures like square, rectangle, circle and triangle. Then later on, we had also learned that if we give depth to these 2D figures, these get converted into 3D figures. Like if I take this square and give depth to this square and rotate it, you will find out that this square has converted into a cube. Similarly, if I take this rectangle and give depth to this rectangle, you will find out that this rectangle has converted into a cuboid. Now, instead of giving depth to these 2D figures, if I rotate these 2D figures, for example, let's rotate this rectangle and you will find out that this rectangle has converted into a cylinder. Similarly, if I take this right angle triangle and rotate this right angle triangle on its right angle, you will find out that we'll get a cone. Similarly, if I take the circle and rotate the circle, we'll get a sphere. These are the basic 3D shapes about which we had learned in our previous classes and we had also learned about their surface areas and volumes of these shapes. Now if we look at our daily life, we encounter such a shapes many times in our daily life. Let's say for this ice cream cone. Now if I tell you the dimension of this cone, will you be able to find how much amount of cream is present in this ice cream cone? Now to understand the use of these solid shapes in our daily life, let me tell you a story. Let's suppose that you and your friends are going for a camping trip and you need to purchase the cloth for making the tent. So how would you calculate that how much amount this cloth will cost you? Suppose you purchase the cloth and now you have parked it into the car and you are ready for the trip. You are crossing a desert in Rajasthan and you need water for drinking. You find a shop in the desert and the problem is that there is an old man and the owner of the shop is not present there. So this old man don't know the price of the container, rather he knows the price of one liter of water. Now you are in trouble as the old man can't sell the container to you as he doesn't know the amount of water in it. So you can't continue your trip and you are thirsty as well. Then suddenly an idea strikes your mind. You ask the old man for a measuring tape and you measure the radius and height of that cylindrical container. And then after finding out the volume of that cylindrical container, you tell the volume to the old man. Then the old man multiplies that volume by per liter price of water. So in this story, we had used the surface area of combination of solids in the first case in the measurement of the cloth and we had used the volume of combination of solids in the measurement of the quantity of water. These are the some cases out of many which we encounter in our daily life and in these the surface areas and volumes of different combination of 3D figures comes into play. Now in this chapter we'll be learning that how do we calculate the surface areas and volumes of different combination of these 3D shapes and once we are through with this chapter you, are, you will be able to calculate the cream in your own ice cream cone.